few years ago, I used to work for Verizon Wireless. And I remember uh, this was in Hawaii. And I remember uh, one time a man came into the store and he said, oh, I'm from, I just moved to Hawaii and I'm wondering, you know, who's your biggest competitor out here? Because I have Verizon now, but I want to save money. So I want to cancel with you guys and go with someone else. So other than Verizon, who's the best? And I thought, um, do you not realize that I have a significant interest in making sure you stay with us with Verizon? I mean, I, I mean, commission sales. So every dollar you spend here helps me out. And I know that's kind of a selfish way of thinking, but it's the life of sales. Um, so I told him Coconut Wireless was the best alternative. And he looked at me like, Coconut Wireless, I haven't heard of that one. And I said, yeah, well, uh, they use um, their own towers and they've been around for a couple hundred years. Uh, you know, prob probably... Uh, as long as the native Hawaiians have been out here in Hawaii. And he looked at me like, what the hell is this guy talking about? As a, and it's really easy to use, you know, it's free 99. You just grab two coconuts and a string and you, you speak into the coconut when you want to say something and you listen in when you want to hear what the other guy has to say. <laughs> and I looked to my left and uh, two managers at the time, one was the store manager and he looked at me like he was kind of like, what is wrong with you, man? Why are you doing this? Uh, and then another manager who I got along with very well, he, he was just trying not to laugh because he thought it was the funniest thing. And I thought it was the funniest thing. Um, <laughs> anyway, the customer was like, I don't have time for this. This is ridiculous. And he walked out. I assume that he stayed with Verizon and that he's still with Verizon to this day.